G'day, I'm John DeMartin. I'm the MD of SCE Energy Solutions. We're here today at De Bortley's Wines. We've just installed 1.2 meg of DC managed Tygo Solar. We'd like to uh, take you around to have a look at the great job we've done. De Bortley has been on a renewable and a, and a waste reduction strategy for a long time. Um, we've been very, very proactive over the last decade, dropping uh, our power usage by at least 10% annualised. We are quite a large site. To put it in perspective, we have probably a thousand very large tanks. It wasn't an easy task trying to shoehorn that amount of solar onto our existing roof space within our structural constraints. SE, I believe, provided a good blend of a solution that, that satisfied our requirements and, and gave us a good value for our money. This is our biggest installation to date. We're covering about 30 to 35 per cent of their annual energy consumption. On a good sunny day, uh, we can be running the whole site off, uh, off their solar, which is just unbelievable. I think something that, that sets us apart is the technology we use and the quality that we use. These inverters you're looking at were actually flown over from Austria from the Fronius factory. They're just a great inverter, they're reliable, they're a top of the range inverter. But we're not just trying to sell a solar system and, and leave the client at that point. We manage every one of our systems, we look at them constantly. Probably 14 years ago, we made the decision to start working with Tygo DC Managed Optimised Solar. The benefit to Tygo is that we're able to see granularly down to each panel level. If you've ever had a set of Christmas tree lights and that don't work because one bulb was burned out, it can be very tedious trying to find the one bulb. When you're looking at solar system, there's a lot of components, so I think there are a couple thousand panels on this site. If a module is impeded, the optimizer within the system allows it to bypass around the panel. These four silos were added after the solar array was put in, creating shading on the building. What uh, a legacy system will do with shading, it will reduce the performance of 15 to 20 panels, depending on the size of the string. With Tygo, we can overcome that and the rest of the array can still work at its peak. It's a very safe system, it's the only DC managed system that's 100% compliant with uh, global rapid shutdown regulations, which basically means uh, you can turn uh, the panels off uh, and stop the power from running through the array, which most systems you can't. I have to say, having Tygo on there, having uh, monitoring is very handy for us. It's so much more easy to do troubleshoot, to measure effectiveness, to measure return on investment. Working with De Bortley was, um, I think it was, it was a pleasure actually. Great company, always looking to save energy. John and his boys have been very good. It was very well organised. Stuff happened when he said it was going to happen and it's been very straightforward uh, working with SCE. 